Hey there guys, it's Lee here. Welcome to a brand new video. In today's one, I just wanted to have a little bit of fun. So on the side here, we have one of our Ethereum miners. So in this box, there is two 280Xs and they are running super hot. So at the moment, the actual case is kind of in an upright position, but even with 420 mil fans, it just puts out a ton of heat. Uh, the actual GPUs at the moment are running at uh, 83 degrees and 72 degrees. So what I wanted to do is like I say, just for a bit of fun, what would happen if I combine my new office fan, which is a high velocity fan, it's got a 18 inch uh, blade, I, I believe, <laughs> at least uh, as far as I could uh, remember at least. Um, so what I thought we'll do is we'll just combine this cooling fan with this case system and we'll just sort of see what happens. Um, and I just thought I'd share the results with you. Like I say, so there's no real uh, scientific benefit on this one. Uh, we're just kind of trying a, a few different things and seeing exactly what happens. So let's get on with it and uh, we'll find out the results. Okay, so I had the fan on uh, full power for about a minute or two there, and the results are negligible, I would say. Uh, the secondary GPU dropped down by about a degree or two, and the uh, GPU one stayed exactly um, as it was. So what I'm gonna try now is a different uh, case positioning, and uh, we'll try it again. This time I've actually taken the actual side panel of the actual case um, off. Uh, the actual temperature didn't actually change uh, very much um, at all. Uh, and I think that's just because the actual uh, office temperature, whilst I'm actually making this video, has actually probably gone up by a degree or two just the, during the actual uh, course of actually making this uh, video itself. So what I've done is uh, I've got the case panel uh, side off. Uh, you can see the fans actually working on the actual desk. Obviously, they're not doing very much um, at all. Uh, I've got the case at a 45 degree uh, angle to the actual fan itself. Uh, and I've done that because I think it might provide better airflow kind of through the case and then out the back rather than directly onto the side. I'll try the side uh, more direct facing um, afterwards. So let's crank the fan up and see what results we get this time. Um, this one I'm just gonna go straight for full power and just see what results we get. So I'm turning it up to max. Okay, so this time we're actually seeing some results. Uh, GPU one has gone from 83 to 76 degrees, and GPU two uh, was at 71 degrees, and that's down to 67. So uh, shaving a few degrees off uh, both of those temperatures there, that's, uh, that's pretty good. Okay, so this one we're gonna go more sort of side directly on. So the side case is sort of a parallel with the actual fan uh, orientation. So let's uh, just whack it straight to max and See what happens. Okay, so on that one, it's very much the same as the previous uh, results. So we've got 76 degrees on GPU one and 66, 67 on GPU two there. Okay guys, last one, just for fun, just to see what effect this will have by pulling the air out of the case and directing it straight up. Um, hopefully nothing comes off my ceiling. Dust and dirt would be a real uh, pain. Um, I've already turned the fan on to turbo and I'm just gonna turn it on at the wall and see what happens. Hopefully nothing too drastic. on that one the temperature dropped down a little but not quite so much as the other open side case uh, test that we've done it, it dropped down to 79 on GPU 1 and 68 degrees on GPU 2 there okay so that's just about it for this video hopefully you've had a little bit of fun or watching it um, I've had a little bit of fun making it something a bit different and um, 
Yeah, it is pretty good fun. Uh, the actual results were quite surprising as well. Um, I thought adding a giant fan to a open case would make a, a lot more dramatic impact. Um, but really, the actual results was it actually only reduced the actual temperature by just a few degrees on those graphics cards. So having a giant fan or maximum airflow isn't really going to solve the problem. It's only really solving part of the actual issue. So in the future, I'll probably do more actual cooling videos on better techniques on how to actually cool your system systems and there's lots of different things that you can try. Uh, if you're actually sort of stuck in a jam what I would recommend is to start working with the actual ambient room temperature first. Anything you can do there will have a significant impact on everything else you do uh, with regards to your system. Uh, in the room that I'm actually in at the moment, it's like a small office workspace, uh, the ambient temperature has actually gone up five degrees just in the course of making this video um, and it's just because the airflow in the building is basically rubbish. Uh, so it's actually about 35 degrees in this uh, office space now which is uh, really ridiculous. So anything you can do to reduce the actual ambient temperature of the workspace that the machine is in, whether that's a PC or gaming uh, rig or sorry, a mining rig, sorry, you know, anything you can do to reduce the ambient temperature, that's where you want to get the biggest results and also it make it for a much better working environment as well as. Um, so that's about it for this video and um, hopefully you have enjoyed watching. Um, if you have, then like it, you know, drop a comment. Um, I'd always get back to you guys and I appreciate all the subscribers um, so far. Uh, we're approaching 1,000 now for this channel, which is um, amazing. I'm really pleased with it. So thanks for your ongoing support and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Take care.